Uh, let's all go to the game, Joe. What you know about the game, Joe? It's now time for the game, Joe, with Dark PB1. Alright, everyone, welcome back to the game, Joe, with Dark PB1. The last time, uh, on the last episode we left off, I had destroyed a woolly rhino. Let's see if we can take out some giants now. I doubt it, but heck, if we don't try, we'll never know. Where did they go? They were right there. There they are. Okay. We shall destroy them with our, our wit and our skills. I hope I have wit and skills. That's kind of a lot of enemies. Maybe I should try and take out the giant first, because if I attack the giant, the mammoths won't. You know what? It might have been a bad idea. I see that now. Is the is the thing? What happened? Uh, this might have been a bad idea. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna bail on this. Uh, maybe we'll go through a uh, maybe we'll go through a uh, a temple or something, whatever the heck you want to call it. Like this is Zelda or something. Uh, yeah, no, let's let's do that. Let's head towards uh, these uh, ruins over here. Let's see what's inside them. Uh, what is that enemy? It is a flying rattlesnake. Oh, those guys are still following me. Okay. Ooh, what is that? That thing looks creepy. What is that? What is that? I think they... Whoa! Wait, it don't come back down. We just gotta give it a minute. Okay, that was... What are you doing? There's literally a giant down there and you're gonna sit there and fight me? Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's, that's real thick. You're being a real thick, thick, thickety, thick, thick. I think I just quoted, I think I just quoted Doctor Who there. Pretty sure that's where, where, where I heard that from. Okay, there's, uh... There's definitely some weird stuff going on. I think there's too many enemies here, to be honest with you. What is happening? There's people randomly screaming, there's... You know what? I don't got time for this, and neither do you. I'm gonna just, uh... Whoa! Okay, no, no. That thing's huge, I don't know what that is, but we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna go say hi. I think it's a friend. It's really slow, though. Look how slow that is. It's gotta be... It's gotta be... A... Uh, uh, a peaceful mob, like right? This thing's definitely a peaceful mob. Oh. What? No, they run away. Okay, yeah, they are peaceful. I, th yeah, I guess they're just straight up peaceful. Uh oh, my mammoth friends are back. Okay, uh, those things are cool and all, but they're not really, uh, they're not really, like, enemy worthy, so I'm going to pause the recording and find us something fun to go, uh, fight. Alright, I found us a mine to go exploring in, uh, I don't know how exciting this will be until we get in there, obviously. It's not like I'm a mind reader or a psychic, and, you know, playing with mods, you never know what you're gonna get when you enter in a place like this. So, let's see. It's just a regular dog. Have you met my have you met my tiger friend? Come on, tiger friend, you can do something. You can be useful for once. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put on flames since that seems to be the only friggin' spell in this game that wants to do any work for me. There we go. Insta kills. Uh, no gold. Everyone's broke in this game, I guess. Alright, 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 alright. Where's that dog? Where is my tiger? 
Like seriously, where is this? What is it doing? Are you at least fighting the dog? Did you at least defeat the dog? What are you doing? There you go. Okay, good job. I don't know if it's because it's uh, a modded in creature or what, but like you think it would be, you know, like I feel like the attack AI is usually the same for all, uh, all, all the, like, all the, 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 what do you call them? CPUs, I guess you could call them. I don't really know exactly what you can call them, but uh, you think they all have the same sort of attack functionality? So they'd be able to. I mean, you know, to be fair, it's not like enemies are always that good, but, you know, sometimes enemies are really good, and other times they're really bad. Like, this guy? This guy is hitting me pretty well. Is that the tiger? No, alright. Why would I expect the tiger- Ooh, 100 gold. Why would I expect the tiger to come help me out here? It's just absolutely ridiculous that I have to expect, uh, that I would expect for the tiger to help me. Steel great sword of burning, iron axe of cold, amethyst gold, and a treasure map. Can we figure out where this is? I'm going to take it. I, I don't know if we'll ever use it, but it'll be there. Uh, I don't exactly recognize that. There's so many so many uh, things. If you recognize where that is on the map, uh, you know, comment down below. Let me know exactly where it is. Uh, I'm lighting this thing on fire because it is annoying me. Oh, you know what? You want to attack me? Good. Good. Attack me. You haven't done anything good for me in a while. See? Look at that. Look. He just gave up. I started lighting him on fire. He just gave up. Just give up. You know, maybe this is a good way I could, uh, I could level up my destruction if it works. Because he just, he just let me do it. He just sat there and he let me light him on fire. All right, well that looks like all that's in this uh, in this mine. So I'm gonna pause the recording and go find something more fun to do. Let's. Uh, I'll see you in a minute. All right, here we are. I just found some new mobs that I haven't seen yet and that we haven't seen yet. Uh, so I want to find out whether they're peaceful or, or hostile, and I want to do it on camera so we all can get my reaction of how amazing or underwhelming it is. Also, this thing. I didn't even see this thing. Look at that. Is it enemy? No, it just doesn't. It just doesn't want to fight. These things, though. These. Things. That's that's actually that's actually horrifying. That's actually really scary. I. Uh... Oh my gosh. I wonder if they drop anything. Good. I mean, they're in a horde right now, and I'm not trying to fight three of these things at once. Oh, oh wow. Oh my god! <laughs> I hope it quick saved that. Oh jeez, let's see. Oh no, I'm not dead. Oh, now I'm dead. Now I'm dead. Now, now I, now I am dead. I hope it quick saved when I paused. Uh, let's see. Because if it didn't quick save, that's very upsetting. Oh, uh, where am I? I am outside of a cave. Which cave is that? Oh, it's outside the mine. Alright, fortunately we're not too uh, worse for wear. Uh, I'm going to pause the recording until I find something neat. I don't think I'm going to go after those uh, those bulls again. They, uh, they're not cool. They're kind of jerks. Uh, I think I'll avoid them at all costs. A lot of mobs that are making me avoid them. Uh, you kind of have to play Skyrim differently. Normally on uh, vanilla Skyrim, you would just... Uh, you just go into it. You you go and play, but on this, you're just kind of like, oh, I'm avoid that. I'm avoid that. Uh, that's not cool. That's not cool. That's pretty cool, but that one's not cool. You know, like that meme. Yeah, like that. All right, I'm gonna pause the recording till we get somewhere cool. See you in a bit. Uh, remember how I said I was gonna avoid those oxen at all costs? I tried. Uh, it didn't turn out quite the way I expected it to. There is now like 50 of them, and it's actually horrifying. And boom goes the dynamite. Do you think that killed me? If it didn't kill me, I'm in a safe spot. Yes, it didn't kill me. Okay. I think I got this. In fact, that might have been, been positive there, because now I'm in a nice safe location where they can't reach me. You know, I didn't even do anything. They're, they just came at me, bro. They just came at me hard, like... Alright. You know what? I feel pretty safe up here. Maybe if I just wait long enough, they'll uh, leave me alone. 
Uh, or I could just uh, keep going. I hope they don't follow me, because if they follow me, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Alright, I, I don't- I think I should be good for now. Oh my goodness, do you see all those dots? Look up at, the, at my dots. That's a lot of dots. I'm not trying to trying to mess with all those dots. You know, if there's like one of those, I would probably try and fight it. There's like 50 of those, and I, I need to mark that on the map. Like, I, I need to come back here when I get get some really good equipment. Uh, where'd I come from? The east? So it's like right up here. Uh, remove it. Let's put it right there. So... We'll come back to that at some point. That's absolutely ridiculous, though, how many of them there are. I, I don't even think even if I get to a high level, I'll be able to defeat them, because they can just knock you down and keep hitting you. Uh, it's kind of like if you were to go fight one of those things in real life. I, I don't think you'd be able to stand a chance. What is this? Oh, it's a flag. I thought it was another enemy. Wow, look at that. It's... She thinks we're friends. You might have put more clothes on if you're going to try and fight someone who has firemen. I mean, to be fair, it doesn't look like you're living all... It doesn't look like she's living in, in a good uh, good place. She's living in a place called Swindler's Den. I mean, I'm sure they don't got a lot of money. Well, you think, you know, if they're stealing... Uh, you know, the people they're stealing off of probably don't have a lot of money either. So, you know... I'm sure they go for bigger marks, but, uh... I doubt they find anything worthwhile. See? If that was one of those things that I was fighting before, it would have destroyed me. You know, it's amazing how the people aren't really that big of a problem, but the animals. The animals are frightening in this with these mods on. Which definitely makes for uh, some exciting gameplay. It definitely, uh, definitely gives you something more to, to worry about when you're playing. You because know, normally... Like, as I was saying before, you just go through, you do not have to worry about any of that. But playing with these mods, it actually gives you really good incentive to not fight things. Which, I think under normal uh, circumstances would be a bad thing in video games. But Skyrim, you're always like... I think you're always looking for a fight in Skyrim. Uh, at least usually. That's how I usually play it. So I'll uh, end up trying to fight as many things as possible. I mean, look at this. I'm just... Alright, so sorry about that. My game, uh, froze. So, I'm at the beginning of the cave. Which isn't too bad, so we're just gonna go through the cave again. Uh, hopefully it's not, uh, too frustrating that I have to do that. I mean, I I'm, I'm fine doing it. I just hope it doesn't bore y'all having to see this part again. It's not like I, uh, not like it takes too long. These guys just sit there and let me light them on fire while I sit there and light them on fire. Uh, so maybe I could tell you guys a story or something. How would you like to add a story? Sit on, uh, sit on the King Joe's, uh, knee so I can tell you all a story. Now I just need to think of a story to tell you all because I don't really have too many stories. Uh, let me think. I'm sure I got something good in, in the old noggin. Uh, once upon a time, there was a druid, and that druid liked to play with fire. And the fire that the druid spout, spouted would always be the blue flames, the great blue flames of the druid. And whenever the great blue druid spouted his flames of doom, all the townspeople that lived lived around him, he lived on the outskirts of town, and he would always visit the town, but he would always shoot the blue flames in the air, and people didn't like when he would shoot the blue flames in the air, because when he shot the blue flames in the air, they always ended up annoying people. Like, they would say, why are you shooting those blue flames in the air? And then he would be like, well, I like to shoot my blue flames. And they would be like, well, cut it out. We don't like when you shoot the blue flames. Is that all that's in this game? Well, that's beside the boat. No, wait, there's one more. Where is he? Where was I? Uh, no, so the town townspeople would get very upset when he would shoot the blue flames in the air. So what, what ha- Oh, that's a lot of cool. So what would happen is, he'd shoot the blue flames in the air, they'd get upset with him, and eventually the townspeople got so mad, they banned him from the town. 
It was a very, very peaceful way to handle the situation. But the, but the druid didn't like that. The druid said, I want to shoot my blue flames in the town. Because if he, because there's no one to watch him out on the outskirts of town, what is he going to shoot his blue flames at? At the, in the outskirts of town. I already read this book. That's ridiculous. They're just going to print copies of the same book and put it all over the place. Uh, I, I know for, all right, I guess there is no more enemies. Uh, so he would shoot the blue flames in the, the, the town and the townsfolk kicked him out of town but he he was very upset he really wanted to shoot his blue flames in town so you know what he did in the middle of the night he would show up in the town and he would shoot the blue flames when no one was around and you'd think the fact that no one was around would make it okay that he uh you know, not that it would make it okay, but he would he would be just as annoyed that he's got no audience. I thought so. We everyone would assume that the reason that he didn't want to shoot the blue flames out on the outskirts of town is because there's no one to watch. But honestly, he just liked to shoot it in the town. Why that was, you know, we're not really too sure. But uh, he he started doing that for a few weeks, and eventually. Eventually, p people in the town would notice that there was, like... So, so most of the people in the town kept their curtains closed because, you know, there's monsters out there. There's, like, uh, like spirit spirit monsters and whatnot. So they would keep their curtains closed because they would keep the spirit monsters away. And, uh... But they would notice on their curtain, they would see blue flames. What is that? What is that? That's an enemy. Where? They would see the blue flame flickering on their curtains and they would wonder, what is that out there? Uh... And normally they wouldn't they wouldn't try to do any what the heck is that oh those are wraith monsters I I don't I don't want to I don't want to fight those those look scary so they would see the blue flame they would see the blue flame flickering on their their curtain so they ended up Looking outside, which normally they wouldn't do because the monsters are actually quite frightening. Oh, those are actually pretty weak. So what would happen? What happened is they they eventually checked outside because you know it was the blue flames. They they could tell. They were like that scene that looks awfully familiar. Like those uh, like that blue. F wow, that is wow, that is all. What is happening? What is this game? No, what is it? What is this game? What is this game? What, is, what, are, what mods did I put on? I need to go through my mods. This is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, if you want to know what happened with the wizard, uh, the, the druid, so what happened was they found out and they hung him. They hung him because they were sick of the blue flames. Honestly, I think it was a bit of an over exaggeration, uh, not over exaggeration, a overreaction to him shooting the blue flames because he wasn't actually hurting anyone in fact the blue flames were like ethereal flames so they would only hurt monsters so if you really think about it he kind of he kind of wasted his uh they kind of wasted their time attacking him like it's not like he was gonna like the houses on fire or anything so he was kind of a jerk though don't don't get me wrong the the druid was a jerk no one liked him no one liked him not not because he shot the flames no one liked him because he was a jerk who also happened to shoot flames in the town that was the biggest problem. What? What is happening? What are you guys doing here? The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. Oh, maybe we should join, uh... Not not these guys. We should join the Stormcloaks. The Stormcloaks are way cooler. I already, I already know Windhelm. I already know how to get to Windhelm, so that's perfect. I wonder if Ulfric, Ulfric Stormcloak will recognize me, though, because you, you meet him at the beginning of the game, and I'm, I wasn't at Helgen. So... I bet he does. I bet he recognizes me. But, uh, you know, we're gonna put an end to this, uh, here. Uh, you know, rest in peace, the druid. Even if you were a jerk, I don't think you deserve that. And, uh, it's a sad thing that happened to you. This has been The Game Joe with Dark PB one Like, comment, subscribe, and share. In memory of the druid. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. He, he will be missed. He was a good jerk. A very good jerk. This is the game, Joe. Dark BB1, signing out.